Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Um, I have a very serious story and we, I want you to understand I've got to try and talk sort of in code because very serious times are happening and I want you to see the narrative that's being pushed out. Even though it's not in your country, this is going to be out of China. We're going to be talking about bank runs, but I want to show you the narrative and what's coming to your country, near, the country near you, the country you're in because it is gonna happen globally and it's gonna happen after this collapse. But I want you to know about it now so you can start to think to prepare. We'll talk about preparing too in this, but I think it's very, very important. So please stick with me to the end because sometimes the ninja loses track, all right? This is out of the South uh, China Morning Post. Now, first off, I wanna give you a little caveat. We've talked about central bank digital currencies. I've done a lot of videos on them over the last year and a half. Um, and I've talked about this rollout. now. China was the first country to officially launch its CBDC, or Central Bank Digital Currency, through a lottery system where it actually gave a bunch of people some digital currency and let them beta test it. But before that, there was a lot of beta testing beforehand. This was the public beta test, okay? And I want you to understand, read between the lines of what I'm saying, because we're starting to things, see things around the world. They're getting a little funky, and um, before, I wanna be honest with you guys, before elections, um, Life's about to go, it's gonna revert, uh, sadly, I believe. Um, and so we need to be prepared for it, okay? And we're going to, and I'm not joking here, no joking aside, it's like we're gonna be like ninjas, financial ninjas, with good credit scores, have real wealth in our hands, and in our bank accounts to a certain extent, to be able to seize opportunities because it's the only way. It's like a sneak attack where we're gonna take back the land, all right? All right, here we go. Sorry for the long intro, but I think it's very important. Chinese disciplinary watchdog to investigate after bank protesters flagged as a health risk. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to link this in the description because I might get a little, a little, uh, a flag. All right, so if I, if I don't, this is out of the South China Morning Post. It's entitled, Chinese Disciplinary Watchdog to Investigate After Bank Protesters Flagged as Health Risk. All right, let's talk about it. The Zhenzhou Commission for Discipline Inspection says it has started a probe into why angry depositors found their health codes and suddenly turned red. Okay. Meanwhile, police in a neighboring city said that they had detained a number of people suspected of involvement in a scam that led to a run on four banks. Now, what's really interesting is we're getting all kinds of very wild uh, rumors and stories right now. And it's very hard because of China and the way they do things to get the truth. Um, but... I'm gonna give you an example. In America, we already have sort of a bank run. I know lots of people that pull their money out of the banks because they do not trust the banks and they have a very difficult time pulling cash out because the banks, first off, do not have enough cash for you to pull your own money out and they've made it expensive, right? There's all kinds of ways they're doing it. So technically, we're in a very slow rolling train crash when it comes to a banking run in America already if you look at it that way. All right. Even when you account, um, you know, it costs money to withdraw cash. Now you can only withdraw so much. You have to be treated like a criminal when you pull it out. Right. Very, very important stuff to be thinking about. Um, uh, shortening the hours of the day the banks are open. If you think about it, what they're doing is they're it's that frog and boiling water theory. Right. They're slowly getting you used to the warmth. Oh, this feels good. This is cool. It's not cold water. I like it. So you're like, I'm sweating a little bit. And then, you know, before you know it, you just, you're done. That's what's happening. We're actually seeing a controlled demolition of the current banking system into a new system. It's actually going to lead some people to lose everything they have, and it's going to cause others, which I hope for you, to become wealthy. We'll talk about that in a second. It says the disciplinary enforce, enforcers in the central Chinese city of Zhenzhou, I apologize to any of my Chinese, incredible Chinese uh, subscribers if I screwed that one up, have promised to investigate after protesters demanded their money back after a bank run, found their health codes, and s had suddenly turned red, tagging them as a risk to public health. I want you to understand how very serious this is. They're demonizing the people that are trying to get their money out of the bank. 
and I want a little side note, I'm already hearing headlines and information that just so you know that paper currency transmits germs. Think about how powerful it is. Think of where we're going, where we're heading. I want people to listen to this and wake up. Hey, good and old news. Let's just talk about silver for a second. Not that I think we're ever going to have enough silver physically to actually transact in worldwide, right? It's just so much of it's being used for everything in electronics now. But uh, silver is antimicrobial. You actually can't get sick. It, it, germs can't live on it. So just a little fun fact right there. Um, the Because it's God's money. The local commission for discipline inspection and supervision said on Friday that it had started an investigation and anyone who violated the provincial uh, health code management regulations would be held accountable. We will take, and this is a quote, a responsible attitude to find out the facts and clarify the responsibilities as soon as possible. But the facts are right now there are people in right here. Meanwhile, police in the neighboring city of not even going to try it, uh, said on Saturday that they had detained a number of suspects in the case and frozen their assets. There are people right now, there's photos online of and videos of people stretched around banks trying to get their money. Right now, the story is being floated out there that money, currency, notes, paper notes are transmitting germs. We do, we do know that. That's not crazy, right? But I want you to understand where they're going with this. And a digital currency not only would solve that, they're going to tell you, but also it's going to solve their problem because they can control you even more. You know, your social credit score. And I mean, you look right here, this, this whole idea of um, a bank run found their health codes had suddenly turned, their health codes had suddenly turned red. This is right out of a movie, like Minority Report. And I want people to understand how very serious this is. So let's talk about some solutions. Let's talk about positive, right? This stuff's happening. Can you change it? You actually can. I talk about this all the time. If you're a normal subscriber, you can just click off. If you're new, listen to this. First off, when the masses are controlled by debt, right? An illusion of using debt to make money, but very few people understand how to do it. I do do it because I buy real estate, cash flowing real estate. Uh, I use debt for all kinds of different uh, uh, asset classes that make me money, make me a return on my money, right? Business, debt, things like that. But very few people ever take the advantage of debt to make money. And you should be paying people that are loaning you money a good rate of return, right? If the free market was allowed to do so. Here's the thing. Debt is death, all right? And debt is used, and, I, and right now it's, I'm gonna be honest with you, the only reason homes are so expensive, insurance is so expensive, Cars are so expensive is because of easy financing. If there was no such thing as easy money to get out there, you really need to prove your net work, worth, your job, and all that kind of stuff, it would be very difficult to go out and get those loans, right? Especially like in the car industry, right? Or insurance uh, and run those prices up, okay? Because there's so much money flowing into those asset classes. So how do you do this? Well, first off, don't get into any more debt because this is getting nutty, all right? Um, pay off your debt and then get out of the dollar system. How do you do that? Gold and silver, quite frankly. And during times of inflation, I know there are some people that can't look past tomorrow or next week. Those are people that are always gonna fail. Successful people look really far out into the future, and the reason why they can do that and figure out what's going on is they look really far back into the past because all this crap's happened before. It's just a different century. I'm not even joking. If you think that you're that much smarter because you got an iPhone in your hand, you're actually pretty... <laughs> Ugh, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I've watched more arguments in life that could have been solved by two minutes on a, G, you know, a Google search. And it just blows me away, right? But yet every civilization thinks that they're smarter than the last civilization. And so they have the exact same problems. And why? Because pride comes before a fall. So what we want to do on this channel and other channels that are combining their forces to help each other out, right? Like I, you've seen me before try and help ev all these other channels, especially the ones that are smaller. It's what I want to help. I want to give the voice to the people that are smarter than me. That's what a leader does. A leader knows that he's not the brightest one. He's just got the tools in the toolbox to give you everything you need to be a, you know, a logistics manager, right? So I want to go help people that are smarter than me. And there's lots of them out there. And, um, you know, what we're doing is we're abdicating, be prepared, not scared, be ready for this crash so that when the real estate market collapses, you can pounce on it and take advantage and buy tons of homes, not just buy your dream home, go buy 20 homes, rent them out, and then be good landlords, be good people. 
take back the land one good solid investment at a time and take it back from the money market uh, guys that are out there driving the cars they can't afford, just blowing in on stupid crap, all, all in vanity. It's, it's about being meek, it's about being prepared, it's about being faithful, and it's also about being good stewards with what you have, all right? So right now you're seeing, they're moving to this narrative, but they can't, the more, and I say, I know this might sound crazy, like I'm a romantic when it comes to economics, but I believe that we can build an army worldwide because I believe that there is a collapse coming that is like no other collapse in economics you've seen before. And if we have enough people ready, and that's why it's so valuable that you're sharing these videos everywhere, please do that. Please hit the thumbs up button so it will wake up one of your neighbors or your friends or your, your family members that you've tried to warn and they've rolled their eyes. Maybe they'll listen to this dork with a bro hawk and a dream. Dream because I think that we will be able to take it back, all right? The big boys have always fallen in the past, the Lehman Brothers, the Bear Stearns, the Solyndras, the, what's that one George Bush was pushing? Put it down in the, I'm totally blanking out. Put it in, what was the biggest company? Enron, they all fall and they're gonna fall again, guys. The only question is, are you gonna have the money and the credit score to walk in and scoop them up for pennies on the dollar and then go crush it? and be good human beings. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. We're in this together. And I want this group to get larger. I want a million people ready to rock and roll worldwide with a grip full of cash. Even if that grip full of cash is a couple thousand bucks or a few hundred bucks, I wanna show you how to crush it with that when the time is right. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for sharing these videos. You are all the reason why this channel is such a success. And we just topped 5.5 million views this month. It is because of you. Thank you. That being said, the Economic Ninja is out.